What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're out here in Parque Fernando bringing to you the Black Buck guide as promised. The True Rax Black Buck have dropped with the March 30th patch in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Super exciting. They look awesome. Uh, new diamond requirements, things like that. We're going to go over loadout. We're going to go over basically everything that I know about the Black Buck and how I hunt them and how you should hunt them and how you can get a diamond, hot spots, things like that. Uh, starting with loadout, uh, I use the 243. You don't have to use the 243. You can use the Mosin if you want. I would say those are your two best options with the Black Buck. As far as callers, you're going to want the Antler Rattler if you plan on calling them or trying to lure them. Uh, the Antler Rattler is the caller of choice. And basically, we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to go to a couple of my favorite spots and we'll do a little bit more talking about Black Buck, a little bit more talking about the patch as well. The March 30th, 2021 patch in the Hunter Call of the Wild, which just dropped yesterday as of the recording of this video. And yeah, let's get into it. Hey buddy how you doing yeah nice so Ruben though so a couple of my favorite lakes I'm gonna show you guys a couple of my favorite lakes actually I'm gonna throw up the hotspot map right now for you guys to look at that map is also going to be available to download for you guys in my discord definitely join the discord if you haven't already uh call the wild maps I believe the channel is called go in there you can download this map for yourselves and one of my favorite hotspots is this little lake right here. This has been so good for Black Buck. And I'm gonna say right now, I dropped this tent here during the stream last night. It's not a good spot for the tent. You wanna put your tent, I would say, considering where these zones are, and these are shared zones. I think three of these zones are Black Buck as well as Mule Deer. Just for this little tiny little lake too, it's so good. I would put your tent, remember to keep your tents about 200 meters away from potential animals so you don't spook them when you fast travel into your tents. But right about here would probably be perfect. And then you can kind of just work your way down slowly to the lake and you have a really good view of the lake from right about here, which I'm gonna do right now as they're just coming into these zones. The time for them, it's 9.34 right now. That's a pretty good time to be starting to hunt them. They should be starting to come into the zones. They start drinking at nine. They finish up at around 12, 12.30. You're gonna have zones from nine to 12. You're gonna have some zones as well from 9.30 to 12.30. And here we go. We got Black Buck starting to come in. We got a big herd down here. We got a Leucistic in there. Right off the bat, we got a big four, 106 to 124. The new diamond requirement for the True Axe Black Buck is 132.2. There's actually two Leucistic females in there. The Leucistics are starting to see more and more like an uncommon than a rare. I think they are technically considered a rare. I think they fall into the rare category. I could be wrong, but... Uh, I would definitely refer to them as uncommons if I had to pick between the two. But uh, we got a pretty big four in there. Not a bad looking black buck. And uh, yeah, this lake is pretty incredible for black buck and mule deer too. And there's a big four out there, 267 to 329. That's a huge four mule deer. This lake is also really good for cinnamon teal. In case you're trying to hunt ducks. It's a good place to go. That is a really nice four. Now, I don't think the level four mule deer can make diamond. I can't remember the last time I saw one. And I've had some wild estimates. I've had estimates on level fours going up right up to like the 350s. And uh, they rarely score above 300. Oh, that puma spooked them. Where's that puma? That's another thing that we might want to talk about a little bit with the black buck. Is you got to keep in mind that there are puma in Parque Fernando. And they could be a real issue when you're trying to hunt the black buck. And I did see one. There was a level four female puma prowling along the water here. I should have just popped it. I didn't even, didn't even think about it. But yeah, so if you see puma, when you're waiting for the black buck to come in, try to take them down as quickly as you can before the black buck come in because they'll just spook them away. With this patch came the DLC for the bloodhounds, the first ever dogs in Call of the Wild, and they are really cool. Ruben here is a real cutie. And they work really well, man. It's a really cool addition to the game, I think. We got a 122 high estimate three. That's, a, that's one of the bigger threes that I've seen. Uh, the fours for Black Buck, the fours can make diamond unless they change that. Before True Rax, the fours could make diamond. Uh, as far as I know, they still can. I've had a couple big fours. I had the biggest four I've gotten so far scored one, I think it was 130.3. So less than two points below diamond. So we'll probably move on to another lake, another hotspot, and take a look and see if we can find, maybe we can find a diamond black buck 
during filming this guy. That would be amazing. I still don't have one. I've been trolled three times. Still, still trying to get my first diamond Truax Black Buck. Maybe we can do that in this video. So another really good lake for them is this lake right here. And specifically the bottom side of it, more specifically, right down at the bottom tip of this lake, I tend to pretty much always have a big herd of black buck down there. I've seen level fives down there. I've gotten a couple fives make diamond down there. So we're gonna head over there. I've got my tent set up right here. Sometimes you can have black buck on the north side too. There's tends to, there definitely tends to be mule deer up there, but for black buck in particular, uh, that's south the bottom tip is uh it's top notch man you definitely definitely don't want to leave that out of your your black buck hunt definitely get a get a tent here at this lake i like to put mine on the left side uh, you can swing it back a little bit further away from the water if you're worried about spooking animals at the lake i find it's pretty good you just pop the tent right in this area it's usually fine uh sometimes i do have a zone down here uh this is actually right on top of a mule deer zone so yeah if you want to put your tent back a couple hundred yards a couple hundred meters from this zone uh, it's a little more safe than what I've done here. This is more for the purpose of this video than anything. But yeah, we're gonna head south to the bottom of this lake and check out this zone. So as I'm approaching the bottom tip, I'll always look across too, because there are zones along this side of the lake, along the right side, which is why I put my tent on this side. But yeah, these are usually shared zones, mule deer and black buck, kind of all along this right edge of the lake. So definitely keep your eyes peeled and be looking across. Uh, I've found since the patch with the true racks, uh, these zones over here tend to be just a single animal, like this mule deer. There's a couple of them there. But yeah, like one or two. And with the black buck, they've usually been... There's another one coming in. Another buck. But with the black buck zones over on this side, they seem to just be... There's actually quite a few bucks over there. That's nice. But if you see black buck over there, it tends to be... It looks... It seems to just always be like a single female over there. Which is a bit of an oof but not to worry because you should have a big herd if they're not here yet they're probably still coming in but they tend to hang out right about here on this hill near the water hopefully they're gonna come in and here they come here they come we got a four that goes 95 to 112 there's another four 106 to 123 decent not diamond potential, not quite what we're looking for. Oh, 95 to 112. A couple more males in there. 110 to 128, another four. Another leucistic. Yeah, they're definitely uncommon, so confirmed at this point. Yeah, so if you find that your black buck are coming in a little bit late, it's not only you. 1022. I mean, this is... It's a 9 o'clock zone. Uh, that is the mule deer zone, but... Yeah, I'm finding they're coming in a lot of my 9 o'clock zones. They start coming in at like 10, 20, 10, 30. So it's a thing. It's not super late, you know. Oh, that's a nice, actually a nice leucistic buck. That's kind of neat. I don't mind that. We might have to shoot that, actually. That's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, I don't see any fives in there. You know what? I'm probably not going to shoot that. Let's see if we can get a diamond today uh, for this video. That's a nice four, 112 to 129, almost a diamond potential. I think that's the biggest one in the herd, but yeah, real nice herd, real nice spot. Definitely check that, don't leave that out. Uh, that's a wide one, that's really cool. Noticing some of the some of the bigger males have like a, a nice wide spread on their horns like that, and it's really cool, it looks really nice. And yeah, the true racks do look really nice, I can't wait to get a diamond. But let's move on to a couple more hotspots here. So the lake just to the right of us right now is really good for black buck, especially the top portion, but also down in the bottom, you can find uh, zones down there as well. I like to put my tent right here. I find that it doesn't interfere with any of my zones and it's just a perfect spot and you're gonna have black buck. This is one of my favorite spots right now for black buck is down here. Uh, I have a herd down here. Uh, it's always a really nice herd, multiple black buck on that zone. And uh, I've got another zone there. Mule deer here. Uh, I tend to have black buck somewhere in here as well. And uh, I have heard from some people that they're finding black buck down on the bottom as well. So we'll venture down there and see if I do have a couple zones down there. I haven't checked since the true axe dropped. So let's jump into that. Here we go. We got muleys. We got muleys, but I don't see any black buck. I don't see any black buck. I've usually got black buck right down in here. 
Why are they late? Did they get spooked maybe by a puma? Whatever the case, they're not there. And that is a black buck zone. I just switched it so that it says mule deer now, but it is a black buck zone. They might be late. They might be late. It is a 930 zone. So I'm going to sit here and wait a few minutes and see if they start to come uh, prancing in here. And if not, we'll move along. But I think they are going to be coming in. While I'm waiting, I'm going to check. I'm going to work my way to the left, checking this mountain. Got a mule deer there. Sometimes, sometimes you're going to have black buck here as well. There you go. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Yummy. A really nice level four buck. Two of them, actually. And another mule deer zone. This lake is really good for mule deer, man. Really good. Oh, I see something. That's a black buck. 400 meters away. And there's probably more than just the one, but it's not rendering. They're not rendering. I can only see the one. So there's a zone. Somewhere down there. Why are you growling? I don't think I've ever heard him do that before. Is that because we're close to animals? It is. Oh, that's wild. This guy's stuck. Oh my gosh. And he's growling away. That's so cool. Dude, I've never had a big buck like this stuck before. That's amazing. Oh. oh my gosh. And then he fled. What in the world? Okay. All right, sure. That is... Oh, that's an albino water buffalo. Okay. All right, sure. Feed zone. We got a couple female black buck at that zone. I think it's just the two females. Unless they're just not rendering. I think it's just them. But yeah, that's definitely an albino water buffalo. So we're going to drop that. Uh, <clears throat> 300 out. Hang on. We got to check the rest of this. There's a seven. Very hard stag. There's another muley zone. This lake is wild, man. Black buck zone too. Jeez. Just a single female though. Those zones are such an oof. And it's a water buffalo zone as well. Jeez, that's crazy. That's a triple zone. Alright, so he quartered away. He actually turned. But that's fine. I think he's... I don't think he's 330 out. I think he's... I think that's wrong. I think he's 300 out right there. I think he's only 300 out. So I'm going to do this from 300. Get as, as far out here as I can in the water. And do this with the 300. Let's see. I don't think we got the pen. He's going down though. And here he is. He didn't go far. We did get a vital there. I think single lung. And we got an albino water buffalo. Pretty sick. There we go. Three very easy. And we got the left lung. And he'll go into our Parque Fernando Lodge for sure. And let's move on. Let's do a couple more hotspots. See if we can get a diamond black buck in this video. That'd be amazing. So the next hotspot I want to look at is this lake right here. This is an awesome hotspot for both mule deer. I mean, it's a hotspot for mule deer, black buck, uh, axis deer, and red deer for sure. 100%. Cinnamon teal all over the place on this lake as well. So let's head there. We're going to wind the time back and let the black buck start to come back in and hopefully find a level five. So this lake, pretty easy. You just come from the outpost. Uh, I usually start here and you definitely want to check over here. You're going to have mule deer and black buck. And then uh, after that, I usually work my way around and sit here. And from here, uh, you can kind of see all across the edge of the lake along the west edge and the south edge. Uh, and we're going to kind of look down here too, just in case. Uh, it is a little bit far as far as render distance is concerned, but you can pretty much see 
all along the edge from this spot. And you're going to find Mule Deer, and you're going to find Black Buck. And uh, we've got an Axis Feed Zone. We're going to see Red Deer out here. More Black Buck coming in. we got a 4, 104 to 121. Axis Deer. So we've got a big old combo of all these different species out here. Just a, it's just a full-on party, you know? And then to my left, we've got a couple muleys. And we do have a black buck over there. We've got a level three. Another muley buck. Uh, that's a piebald. That's a piebald buck. And a nice one. My gosh. Okay, we're finding some rares here today. What in the world? What in the world is going on? Oh, because obviously we're going to shoot that. We got red deer resting out there too. Oh, that's a beautiful muley buck. Piebald, my gosh. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Let's just drop it with the M1 there. I think we got both lungs. And second rare of the day. Not black bucks, but <laughs> Parquet Fernando delivering on the rares. That's pretty cool. Ruben getting ahead of himself. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? You want to see a really cool piebald buck? Let's go, buddy. Let's go. And that is a really cool trophy. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. Not my favorite piebald variation for the mule deer, but I mean, it is what it is. That is a nice buck. It's a 177. Solid looking buck. Nice front forks there. That's so nice. I really want to check this lake. This is a really good lake. Uh, definitely a hot spot. The lake just north of it, I would say, is a hot spot too, but especially the, the small lake. Uh, I placed my tent just a little bit north. And uh, if you work your way down to the lake from the north, you can kind of see the entire lake. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just going to creep down. I'm not going to run. And I've got my tent backed off just enough that I'm not going not gonna to spook anything. And I've got a black buck zone, two black buck zones down there. Here we go. We got a four there. 105 to 122. At that left side zone. Decent looking black buck. Um, we haven't shot any black buck yet, so I'm probably going to shoot that if we don't have something bigger at this lake. So we can take a look at it. It's a nice looking four. Probably, I would say maybe a 120. Now here's another one, a female. And we should have more black buck on the right side as well. At that zone. It's right down at the bottom of the lake. Let's do this. Let's... Let's shoot it. If we can. It's behind that tree. And I think we're far enough away that that won't spook anything on that side. I think we might be good. But I cannot see... Any black buck over there just yet at that zone. Oh, there they are. There they are. A little too minor. Male. Might just be a single black buck zone, unfortunately. But yeah, a couple zones at this lake. Don't have a big herd here. And uh, a decent four. Maybe a 120. Let's take a look. Is 117.8. Not too bad. The true racks do look amazing. They look really nice, especially when you get the bigger ones that have the big base with like four twirls. Man, they look nice. But uh, still not a diamond for me. Still trying to get that first diamond. But we got double lung on this guy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the guide and I hope it helps you guys out. If it did, drop a like on it. Drop a subscribe on the channel if you haven't already done that. And I will see you guys in the next one.